Okay, so we're going to prove that for any set A, B, and C, that A cross B intersection C is equal to A cross B intersection A cross C. So let's go ahead and before we start the proof, let's draw a picture to sort of illustrate what's going on here, right? Well, I could do a better job than that for that axis, right? See? Yeah. Okay. So let's call this A, right? So we'll call this big thing A. I'm going to scoot this down a little bit. And we'll call this piece B, right? This piece B and this piece C. So B intersection C is this piece here, right? And let's look at A cross that little section, right? So this is A right here. And this is B intersection C, right? So let's get that here. So A cross B intersection C is this area here, right? So let's go ahead and look at B, right? So B is this entire area. So let's go ahead and do that here. So B, um, so A cross B is this here, right? So let's go ahead and do that here. So A cross B is this area here. And let's look at uh, C now. So C is this here, right? And um, A cross C is gonna be this area here, right? And look, A cross B intersection A cross C is that same area we were talking about with A cross B intersection C. So at least geometrically, right, it appears that A cross B intersection C is equal to A cross B intersection A cross C. So let's go ahead and prove it analytically. So let's do proof. We're gonna have X, Y be an element of A cross B intersection C, right? So using the definition of cross product, right? This means that X is an element of A and Y is an element of B intersection C. Now using the definition of intersection, this means that X is an element of A and let's go ahead and do this. Y is an element of B and Y is an element of C. Now, logically, we can see this is of the form P and Q and R. And we know uh, a statement equivalent to this one here. And I'll go ahead and put that here. So this statement is logically equivalent to X is an element of A and Y is an element of B and X is an element of A and Y is an element of C, right? Because we know P and Q and R is logically equivalent to P and Q and P and R. Okay, so using the definition of cross product, we know this means that XY is an element of A cross B and X is an element of A and Y is an element of C means that X, Y is an element of A cross C. And if X, Y is an A cross B and X, Y is an A cross C, this of course means that X, Y is an element of A cross B intersection A cross C. So we got that X, Y is an element of A cross B intersection C if and only if X, Y is an element of A cross B intersection A cross C. So for every X, Y, right? We have X, Y is an element of A cross B intersection C if and only if um, X, Y is an element of A cross B intersection A cross C. And of course, if we have this, this means, right, this means that um, A cross B intersection C is in fact equal to A cross B um, intersection A cross C. And that is the proof.